America has always been the most accomplished nation in the 400. Put a single guy in the 400 last year, and there Dwayne and I are kind of looking at each other like, you know, what are we doing here to get in this final? And not only that, but we brought our best product ever when it counted, and we know we can run with those guys. Maybe we can't come through in 114 with Rudisha, maybe Dwayne can. I can't, but uh, we can run with those guys, and in the right race, we can come home with a medal. And I think the three guys that we're sending this year, I would be surprised if one of us doesn't come home with a medal this year. I try not to put any limits on it anymore. I, you know, I, I also said that we probably wouldn't be running as deep uh, today as we did on Thursday. So what do I know about the sport? Um, you know, I think putting limitations on an athlete is, is always silly because isn't that what the sport's about? Is kind of redefining limits. So, uh, you know, to run 143.7 in only my second 800 meter final this year, making a bunch of terrible tactical mistakes, makes me feel really good that I could maybe possibly shave off another second and get down into the 142 minutes. That's what I'm aiming for at Moscow. Very, very, very rusty. <laughs> But the, the main objective was to qualify and I punched my ticket. So now I have about two months to get ready for Moscow. So I'm really excited that I was able to come out and make the team with literally two hurdle sessions before the national championships. Um, I think my start was okay. I lost my rhythm over four. But I had to fight because I knew I had to make the team. So um, at that point, I probably lost all form and I was just ghettoing it down the track, just trying to get on the team, <laughs> trying to get on the team at that point. Because as I said before, I'm not race sharp. Is that as it shows? I mean, I ran 13:09 in the semifinal, and then I came back with 13:20 something. So I don't have the, the the endurance that I had last year at this point, but I still have up until World Championships to get my fitness. What I score? 80 something. Yeah. I feel pretty good about that. Quite a bit of confidence. Um, I mean, obviously, the high jump was very subpar, the hurdles, and the pole vault. And I think a lot of that stuff was very much safety. So I think if I'm 100%, if I can score 82 with those marks, I think at 100%, I'd be okay. I gave my best today, you know? Three weeks on the track, and to be in the finals for the women's 400 and finish sixth, I'm proud. You know, today I ran with my sneakers because my toe was bothering me so bad. Um, and the spikes just kept making it worse and worse. And I feel more comfortable in my racing flat. So I just went out there and gave it my best. Um, towards the end, I was hoping I was going to reel some more people in. But it just wasn't there today. So we're sending a great group of women. Women, Francina has been running consistently well all year. And Natasha is great. And Ashley Spencer, she's the future of the 400. So we have a great group of women going over. You know, I really wanted to make this team. I really did, you know. It's so funny. You'd think after being in the sport for 11 years, you get tired of this, but it's so exhilarating and so much fun to compete on this level. And I love representing Team USA, so I wanted it and I really tried, but wasn't there today. Why should, why should I watch Glam and Glow? Why should you watch Glam and Glow? Because it's going to be entertaining as hell. <laughs> um, well, I think it's a real depiction of an African American woman that's very hard working and driven. I'm surrounded by my family. My mom and my dad work with me and my sister and I own a salon. And they say I have a gold medal standard on the track and off the track. And so you get to see that, uh, that fun struggle of, I say I'm building an empire. You know, and they're on the ride with me, so it's a lot of fun.